It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie Castellane and it's a bottle of the Chitty Triple. It's coming in at 8.3% ABV. Uh, described as a beer de god. Looks good. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Oh, look at that. Beer in the glass then. Look at that suspension in the bottle. Give it a wash round, throw all that sediment into the glass. It's what the brewer brewed the beer for, it's a bottle conditioned beer. A French slash Belgian style beer. The yeast is meant to go, the unfiltered yeast and, and bits and pieces is meant to go into the beer. Um, it's what they want, the brewer. Looks terrific. But before we start, I want to say a quick thank you to our channel sponsor, Beers of Europe.co.uk, largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all over the world. Uh, thank you very much for being our channel sponsor for so long. It's been so many years. These, uh, it's been about four or five years they've been our channel sponsor. Check the link in the description box of the video for beersofyearup.co.uk. We got a two finger white head. Lovely, lovely looking beer. I really do like that suspension in the glass. Good levels of carbonation. I'd say an amber colored beer. Let's get the aroma. Sweet, lemony, malty. I'd say traditional hops on the back end. Something quite spicy, something quite nettly like a stinging nettle. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's quite a, for a Belgian triple, it's quite It's quite malty. It's quite almost. It's almost worty, malty, worty. Now, now, for you guys out there who are not really kind of don't really know too much about brewing, I don't really know that much about brewing. If I'm honest, I'm more of a beer drinker. Uh, wort is the stuff that a brewer produces when they kind of mash in, when they mash with a the malt. They're drawing this sugary liquid. Out of the out of the malts, and that's called wort. It's sweet and it's almost wort-like. It's yeah, it's, it's 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 a different triple. It's not a Belgian triple, though, is it? It's a French triple. So perhaps the French triples, perhaps they're meant to be like this. Perhaps this is the style. I would say the difference between a Belgian triple and this French triple is the the Belgian yeast. Most definitely, there's no real Belgian yeast in here. It's probably a, a house yeast from Brasserie, what do they call themselves? Brasserie Castellane. Probably their house yeast, regular malts, and not too much of a generous hop on the back end either. I don't think they really hop the beer on the back end or, or put too much hops in the boil. I would say it's more of a sweet beer than a bitter beer on the back end. And wherever you sit in the world of beer, whatever side of the fence you sit on, whether you like something lovely and bitter and, and tasty, or you like something a little bit sweeter, this beer could either be for you or it won't be for you.
I tell you what it does do though. It follows that Belgian brewing tradition of, of even though it's a French beer, but it's calling itself a triple. So yeah, you know, mm, let's go along the lines of the Belgian kind of triple style of beer then. It's, it, it, it's hiding the alcohol by volume very well. That 8.3% ABV is very well hidden. It's not kind of blasting alcohol kind of tastes at you. The only real scent of the alcohol you get is when a little bit of a, a kind of burning in the throat, a little bit of burning into beer slips down into the pit of the stomach there. It's nice if massively unremarkable. It's not like I'm standing here going, stone the crows, this beer is absolutely terrific, like I've done with, with a lot of Belgian triples in the past. But then again, I'm not going, oh no, this beer is dreadful, I'm going to pour it down the sink. It's not one of them beers either. It's just okay. It's just okay. 8.3% ABV, everything's in French on the back of the bottle, so I'm not going to even attempt to read any of that. Um, it's won the International Beer Channel uh, Challenge, it's had a bronze, a bronze medal, cheaty triple. I'm going to give it, I think I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's a 6 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!